Happy America Day, everyone. Princess Bear here. We are at Epcot today, celebrating July 4th. It's like tradition now. Ah, but we're doing the Princess and the Bear way, because this July 4th isn't about national pride. This is about patriotism. And what's patriotism? That is love for our fellow American. That American, diverse, inclusive, all of those things. And we're going to do it the Princess and the Bear way, because you know what? If we're celebrating anything, we're doing it that way. Always. So remember, she's vegan. I'm not. I want to go throw something in the harbor. It's time to foodie and chill. Heard the girl. Normally I don't go for the slushes at any of the stands really, but it's 4th of July and Cosa de Margarita had a 4th of July margarita so we had to get it it's just their normal strawberry frozen with their lime strop or with their lime frozen and then they put blue carousel on top that has edible glitter in it so and then each straw is its own little america straw i thought that was so cute they had like six to choose from this one matches my outfit so i had to take this one it just tastes like a margarita with syrup i'm not into this i they have the ooh la la that we've had before, and I liked that one. This one, I'm probably going to be sacrificing to bear. I give it a two out of five margaritas. It's probably one of the worst specialty ones that they've had in like at least six months. It's typical that this, uh, before the heat, was a sort of like layered American-ish flags. You had the blue, red, and yellow, white-ish. Red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. I tried. Okay, and then it encountered in Florida, and all of a sudden it's this matched up thing bleeding into each other. Feels like a metaphor to me. But, again, this year we are celebrating the people, because without the people there would be no country. Mexican Americans, Hispanic Americans, Latin Americans, you are the fabric of this country as much as anybody else. And I'm celebrating you with a margarita. This doesn't do you justice. I feel like I just drank Injustice, which also makes sense. Um, I would agree with the princess. This has got to be one of the absolute worst. The thing is the blue carousel doesn't mix well with the other syrups. So while it looks pretty, or did, uh, now it just tastes like hot garbage, or cold garbage in this case. Uh, I would give it two out of five applause. Well, see, I promised the princess I would behave today. But he's I, not behaved. I also promised myself that I would be on my not best behavior because behaving is not American. We're rebels here. That's we true. rebel. If it's one thing that we're good at, it's not listening to other people. We're isn't, here to change that. Isn't today our, what do we call it? Emancipation Day or? Revolution. Revolution Day. Revolution are, we did the thing. We're doing the thing now for all peoples because the bedrock of this country is the people. The, that melting by people is what made this country what it is. From this skin tone all the way to the other ones. We built this country. Shout out to our Norwegian Americans. To our Chinese Americans. Ni hao. We're also celebrating today fellow black Americans because we built this country and made them a home, and then we made it our own home. Each one of us has contributed to what this country is today, and that is more important. More important than the flag, more important than the president, more important than the Supreme Court, are the people. I'm going to need y'all to get out and vote this year. I don't care how you vote, that comes later on in the months. But for now, I'm just asking that you do go vote. Please. Have an opinion. Please. Last time we had this beautiful Beyond Bratwurst at Summerfest, it was a hoagie roll. Now they've changed it back to a pretzel roll, which I'm super happy about because now you don't need a pretzel and a brat. You can just have both at the same time. This is a huge bite, but I commit to my mistakes. That is an incredible Bratwurst. It's literally, Germany is the best place that knows how to cook the Beyond Bratwurst. I know there's BB Wolf at Disney Springs, and if you can't 
come into a park, that's definitely the one to go to. Unfortunately, Friar Nooks no longer does any bratwurst. So the next best option is Summerfest. Um, you can also get it at Beer Garden, but Summerfest knows how to cook these bratwurst and they do it so well. It is a five out of five. It is a Princess Seas item and I am so glad they reintroduced the pretzel bun. I think it's way better with the pretzel bun than the hoagie roll that they had before. The return of the pretzel bratwurst is basically a pretzel room for a fake piece of meat. In a pretzel roll is definitely a superior way to have the bratwurst. I can do with a fresher pretzel. That one's been sitting a bit, but it's a bit tough of a chew. You've got balance of the pretzel bread flavor. But the brat is like the default expectation. Anything else feels like a pale imitation. I'll give it four out of five plus. Here are these beautiful house-made chips. They are seasoned way more than normal. These ones also got a little refresh on their menu. Absolutely love them. Nice like paprika flavors. Super into it. It's a, a little on the salty side, but that's what you would expect from a chip. I would give it a 4.75 out of 5 chips. It's tasty. I really think that Summerfest is like the stand that you're everybody is sleeping on at Epcot. Nice seasoned house chip. This is what a seasoned chip should look like. See those little dots? We call that seasoning. If you're going to conquer all of the free world, use this. You know? I don't think anybody does these chips better than Summerfest. It's a shame because most people will just walk by that window. I know it's there. There's food. And there's beer. There's really no, no downside to this. Food and chips, four out of five plus. Here we have the classic. The never to be topped. Never to be replaced. The bratwurst. Because if you're going to Germany, there isn't anything that's going to hit your stomach more than a nice brat with some kraut and a pretzel bun and a nice deep dark dump. The flavor and delivery of a good bratwurst from the German Pavilion is the same sort of consistency that we've come to expect from our German American brothers, sisters, and they's and them's. You're the backbone of this country, your engineering feats, your tenacity has helped make us who we are today. I'm not forgetting about you because this is your day too. Each one of us makes of America. And I thank you. I'm giving that brat 4.25 out of 5 quads. Pace is good, crowd is good. Cut the bunch and get a fresher, and we'd probably be close to perfect. We used to have a cute lemon tree here, but now we have an Italian man and a Santa Margarita, Pinot Grigio. Cheers to the Italian Americans. Literally my favorite Pinot Grigio of all the Pinot Grigios. It is a five out of five. Is it a? It is a princess's item. It's so light and airy and just a beautifully beautiful wine. Italian Americans, I know you didn't think we were going to forget about you because you are far too many in the community that I have to answer to if we didn't at least cheers you for what you've done to help build this country into what it is today. You are the country. AJ, this way. This must have been what they meant by the amber waves of grain. Perfect. Four out of five plus. We come to the American Pavilion, the American Adventure, to celebrate one thing and one thing only. 
Native American, all the tribes of the natives here, the original Americans, we remember this is your land first. And don't forget, it's also Disability Pride Month this yes, month, is. so we are celebrating that as well in America. Because everybody deserves to be celebrated. That's right. I was in a wine mood. Why not? Cheers to our Japanese American friends. We love you very much. Hopefully one day Bear and I will actually be able to go to Japan like we plan to in 2020. Now that wine is really light. It's very uh, light bodied. It's just like a, a very, I want to say just smooth and like grape light type of drink. It's perfect for um, the heat. It's, it's not going to sit too heavy. So I'm really into that. I'm going to give it a four out of five wines. It makes me feel fine. I got my usual Japan Pavilion drink. I got these summers in. Everybody sleeps in the bar window up here at Chiki Sai. I know that Saki House looks like the most attractive place because people see wine and they want to stand in it. But the Shiki Sailon, our booth, almost never has a line. And they have just as good drinks and the same drinks you can get downstairs. So why are you waiting in lines? And air conditioning. Air conditioning. You wait too many lines already. Our Japanese American friends are trying to take care of you. Our Japanese friends in the college program, the culture program, are trying to take care of you. Come sit in the AC. Enjoy America. Oof. It tastes like summer's never going to end. In both the flavor and the temperature. But we're doing what we can. Four and a half out of five plus. Rockin' Americans, I feel like you the short end of the stick. Yes, and since I'm like, well, it's Moroccans and Arabic and- Yeah, this whole Brazilian is kind of confused as you have like, Arabic and Middle Eastern influences in the back, but it's Moroccan up here, but they're nowhere near each other. No, and since this is the closest thing to my heritage, I'm just going to say Persian Americans, you matter too. Persian Americans, we love you. Yes, and it is your heritage month this month, so yes. we salute you too. You always get a month. Everybody gets a month. You get a month. I get a month. They get a month. Nobody knows how to revolt like the French. Hey. hey, hey. We're proud of them. Every time there's something that goes on in America, we represent on the Eiffel Tower, both here and abroad. So, we love that. No 4th of July is complete until we go visit the ex-landlords. And I just saw a crow steal a packet of mayo? What is happening today? If you can steal land, you can steal a mayo packet. I got a green tea shot. Happy 4th of July. Beautiful Jameson peach schnapps gorgeousness. I love it. I will give it a four and a half out of five. Jameson's, this is like my favorite drink at Rosen Crown. Landlords couldn't give our security deposit back, so they gave us beer instead. Joking, we paid for this one. Mm. Tastes like tea mixed with Boston water. I kid. I love black velvet. It's one of the few things that I order every single time. To your black velvet or snake bite or Jameson because you know we're Jameson fiends. This is 4.75 out of 5 plus. Hey Americans, we haven't forgotten about you either. We appreciate you as well. This is your day as much as it anybody else's. Remember, we're in this together. That has been 4th of July here at Epic. Another year, another 4th of July here. I hope you enjoyed our adventure. Remember, if anything, celebrate the people because the people are what matter 
individually and all together. I want to know what you guys think about this in the comments below. Now, if there's anything else you'd like to see us do, events like this or otherwise, there will always be the place to find us. Hit that notification bell if you want to see other videos like this. And we have new videos by this week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. And if you don't comment, maybe Bear will eat himself into this beautiful, beautiful background behind us. I'm gonna step into the light. Sure, heard the girl.
Good night.